has been arguably the most discussed show on social media this year. 13 Reasons Why, the controversial Netflix show that deals with teen suicide is what we're talking about. The feedback impassioned both positively and negatively. And now a new Netflix original is gaining attention. This movie portrays those battling an eating disorder. Carly Flynn Morgan joins us now with a look at the film and the concerns surrounding it. Hey, Carly. Good evening. The movie To the Bone has been accused by some of glamorizing eating disorders. It stars a pretty thin young actress who lost weight for the role, but it also presents an opportunity to start a conversation. We met with a therapy group screening the film together, relating to the bone with their own struggles. The way that you're going, one day you won't wake up. I can't stop. To the Bone stars Lily Collins as Ellen, a young woman living with anorexia. That was very similar to my experience. It's a familiar story to the women in this room. They receive outpatient therapy at the Hall Institute in Beechwood from therapists like Randy Shane Tullifson and Ann Hall. The group watched To the Bone together. Some of them actually seem like they're doing okay, like they might get lives and be semi-interesting people. The film follows Ellen through her latest stint in therapy. Marty Noxon wrote and directed the story based on her own battle with an eating disorder. I think what Marty was trying to do was just create something that would stir up conversation and then you could go on further to either have those conversations or do more research or ask more questions. Nikki Becker has struggled with an eating disorder since she was 14. She says to the bone could serve as a trigger for some, but that's to be expected. But I don't think any of us are ever able to get around things that are triggering. Mm -hmm. That's just, I mean, that's life. So I don't think it glamorizes an eating disorder personally. The group had positive reviews for the movie, but therapist Ann Hall doesn't think it's something young people should watch alone. I do think people that, especially teenagers who don't know that they're having some behaviors or they're prone for an eating disorder, they could get some really cool ideas from the movie, no question. While not everyone has an eating disorder, To the Bone touches on issues of family and self-acceptance, themes that speak to us all. The main thing here is knowing this movie is out there. You may want your kids to avoid it, but maybe it's an opportunity to watch it together and discuss. And if you or someone you love is struggling and needs support, you can find resources with this story on WKYC.com. Chris. Carly, thanks very much.